They pray five times, we fast Ramadan, we do everything. So people can tell this is Shia. Shia or Sunni. Shia. Sunni. They won't come to uh, one respect another, you, one another. another. We can oh. visit, they're not going to stop me. I am i don't like to label myself, but anyhow, my whole family came from a Sunni roots. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going to go to visit uh, Shia, they are not going to stop me. But they will, I'm not going to be, uh, what they call, welcome. Oh, not <laughs> exactly. as welcome. And they, unfortunately, the Shia priest and the Sunni priest change a few things. Like the Shia, when you go to their mosque mm -hmm. as a Sunni, when we pray, we must face Mecca. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we die, mm -hmm. they bury me. My family will bury me one day facing Mecca. Mecca. Mm -hmm. The Shia, they pray and bury towards Kufa. Kufa is in Iraq, where is Ali born mm -hmm. and dead. Death, he died there and they buried there. He mm -hmm. buried him there. Ali, mm -hmm. cousin of Muhammad. This is a significant difference. Exactly. So the orientation is different. Mm -hmm. All of us used to be first, mm -hmm. to be one orientation towards where? Jerusalem. The mosque, you know, the dome. Mm -hmm. used to from the dome, used to be. But then changed to Mecca. And then the Shia split. They want to pray and be buried <laughs> towards. Kufa, Kufa, where they believe that Ali, that's the big change, mm -hmm. big difficult, that they considered Ali is a prophet. Okay, oh. what is the time uh, when Ali uh, around? About, uh, he was 611 A.D. 600, okay, so it started 600. The Islam started at 557 A.D. But I'm talking about Ali, if you're talking about 611. My dear friends, one funny story okay. about this mosque. Okay. Can you see this clock tower? Yeah. Clock mm -hmm. tower, yes. yes. This one was given by King Louis French <laughs> as a gift to the mosque, which is okay mm -hmm. because we give him what? An obelisk. Mm -hmm. Remember the obelisk in Luxus? Yes. Mm -hmm. The day one they get this from France, 1836, by the way, 1836, mm -hmm. when they get it from France as a gift. They put it there, never walks again. <laughs> what? <laughs> they took a huge, beautiful, ancient obelisk and they gave us this one. A clock that doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work till today. It, <laughs> one of the other stories, <laughs> sorry because no, you're no. visiting mosque, I think, for the first time, maybe. Yes, for the first time. Uh, Egyptian Muslims and other Muslims, uh, Shia or Sunnis, mm -hmm. we have this agreement. Before you go to pray, mm -hmm. five times a day if you can, mainly the prayers is Friday noon, mm -hmm. like yesterday, we must wash ourselves. Okay. Washing hands, faces, mm -hmm. ears, goggle them, mm -hmm. the water in your mouth, head mm -hmm. and feet. This is what we call preparation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to purify your body and your soul before you go to pray. Mm -hmm. Some people can do it in home, some people in work. People maybe sometimes they found a mosque, they want to pray, but they can't find any water access mm -hmm. so they can wash themselves. So we have those tabs, as you can see. So they sit on their seat, mm -hmm. open the tab, so before they go inside. Very nice. This is what we call in English, and correct me if it's SK about the pronunciation, abolition. 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 Abolition means like purification. Okay. I like it's it. It's a very term, like you wash. People say, why do they wash themselves before they go? When you are angry, and all of us sometimes get angry or nervous, first thing they told you, calm down, they get you a drink. Oh, yes. Am I right? Mm -hmm. They get you a get drink. Something to cool, yeah, refreshment. cool off, refreshment. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice, mm -hmm. beer, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. whatever. To beer? Yeah, yes, for some me. People, yes, I like the beer. I yes. used to do it as well. <laughs> when I'm angry, drink a beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even Cold beer. Cold beer. Preferably. Yes. Must be cold <laughs> because the cold thing make you mm -hmm. calm. Water is main thing. Mm -hmm. Just if you are nervous, worry, maybe um, um, driving for a long time. It's like something psychological. Mm -hmm. So drink a cold water or a cold drink will make you calm. Mm -hmm. So that's why water will make you calm before you go and meditate. Before you go and or from the desert, most of the desert. So that's why most of the people, Muslim people in the desert are it has sand and yes. mud and something. So you must, you're not gonna pray in the house of God. How oh, dirty and filthy. Yeah, yeah. you want to be clean. So you need at least to wash your hands, mm -hmm. wash your face, yeah. 
head and your feet, mm. even to smell nice mm. before because we pray next to each other. Okay. Yeah, like if I, if I smell, mm -hmm. Glow will punch me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's why it's, it's a, been a, little... a spiritual thing yes. and a physical thing as well. Yes. That's why people ask why they wash themselves. We can yeah. pray anywhere. No, it's a, an instruction just to make the person next to you feel as well mm -hmm. yes. comfortable. Yes, yes. Inside is the mosque and they allow us to go there for 10 minutes and uh, they allow you to take photos inside as well. It's a beautiful from inside mm -hmm. and even if you look on the top of the ceiling when we go inside mm -hmm. you will find inside stained glass like a cathedral, oh. Oh, okay. like a Christian cathedral. And uh, there is a tomb, a grave on the right side I will show it to you where is Muhammad Ali. Barrett, oh. Muhammad Ali. Is the he king. still in there? He's still in there. The wow, that's nice. In, 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 a, in I, a grave, like this, a, a square, nice that he's marble. marble. Yes, thank you. Yes. Very good. Take your yeah. shoes, please. Don't give it to anyone. Anybody ask you. I will watch it for you. Nobody wants my Crocs. Don't be looking at my. Is when when you when people think of Muslim people in yes. America, I know. they think really bad things. Exactly. What group is that? Is it everybody? I know no, everyone lumps no. everybody together. The Americans do, but the the issue is that after 9/11, the whole perspective changed mm -hmm. because Bin Laden and his group say that we are defending Islam, we're protecting Islam. Mm -hmm. They are representing themselves. So you don't? You're a Muslim person who don't agree with, of course, the teaching. Okay. So not everybody thinks percent. that way. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Americans, with all respect, I love Americans and I live there. Americans after 9-11 depends only in some medias right in some newspaper right and they don't have person to tell them what is Christianity what is Islam right what is, it's the interpretation as well mm -hmm. and we did a mistake as well which is we didn't send somebody to you to to, America, explain. to China mm -hmm. to they Hong probably Kong. wouldn't have listened to anyone and maybe we'll not have listened, because I don't make news we should try yes and I think what we are doing you are coming to us us to country yes hearing this I think you are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. You are doing a good, good thing. We want to learn. We want, we want to, know. to learn. Mm -hmm. This is the difference between you and other Americans. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. I come to you. I mm -hmm. came to America. I came to visit. Maybe one day I will go to Hong Kong sure. to learn. Mm -hmm. And I will be more than grateful if I find somebody from Hong Kong or America to teach me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if anybody come and ask me, do you know Hong Kong? Yes, they eat Chinese food. <laughs> this is the only information I have. This is ridiculous. That means I am not. I am, you know, I'm not educated. You're not educated. I am what we call ignorant. ignorant. That's right. A lot of people after 9/11, um, mm -hmm. unfortunately, they based on what, what the media give mm -hmm. them. Right. So Islam, all the Muslim are equal to Bin Laden. Mm -hmm. Bin Laden, by the way, glow in 1997. He blew the temple in Hatshepsut and killed, as I told you, a terrorism attack. Yeah. 41 tourists. Oh, oh, that's the one. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh. And 16 Egyptian tour guides. I lost two of my friends at that time. So that means before 9 11, we did it like we don't agree. He, he uh, blew the Egyptian embassy in Pakistan in May 1996, but nobody knows anything about it because it was. Not in the Western country. Mm -hmm. right. It's about Egypt. To be ridiculous, to be true, frankly speaking. So he did bad things to us, mm -hmm. to Egyptians, mm -hmm. to Muslims mm -hmm. before you, he hurts you mm -hmm. in 9/11. Mm -hmm. But the issue is, everybody think about Islam is Bin Laden. Right. Bin Laden is not Islam. Bin Laden is one person thinking that he is talking about himself, thinking that he is protecting Islam and not representing Islam. all of Muslim people. Like Christian, if he did a crime right. in Egypt, right. are we are gonna blame all Christians? No, they right. are criminals. That's right. This is ridiculous. If Jews did something in the whole world, right. criminals, are we gonna blame? And I Preach. had a good teacher when I was young. He told me, Muhammad, when you go to the mosque, take off your shoes and keep it with you. And I'm afraid anybody might steal it. Somebody stole it, and it happens to me twice. <laughs> <laughs> I had At the mosque, without shoes. <laughs> At the mosque, imagine, religious place, holy place, house of God, and somebody took my shoes. Am I gonna blame the religion or I blame the person that he took it? Right. Person, right. I'm gonna blame the person, not the religion. Maybe the person who took it, maybe he needed. Yes, exactly. But maybe he is a criminal, but I don't blame the religion. No. I right. blame the person. There's a cat. There's a cat. There's cats all over this place.